the Sudan crisis as a failure of political transition. Hello and welcome. I am Afmiya Yaleo and this is News Analytica. Sudan engaged a political transition in April 2019 by ending 30 years of authoritarian rule by Omar al-Bashir. There was high expectation that the transition would enable democracy, peace, and economic development in the country to take a sustainable path. However, the initial euphoria at this transition has eventually turned into frustration, and after turbulent episodes of violence, the country now finds itself in the middle of a fierce armed clash between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. Today's news analysis will focus on how the failure of the 2019 political transition laid the foundation for the current crisis after a brief look at global and regional experiences. Stay with us. Global and African experience. Contemporary political transitions in the world have been dominated by two major parallel phenomena, democratic backslides on one hand and the rise of authoritarianism on the other. According to the 2021 Freedom House report, a democratic recession is deepening since 2006. Political transitions are marred by massive violence and protests in different countries. The January 6, 2021 U.S. Capitol attack following the defeat of Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election is the most notable experience that took place in a traditionally democratic country. Similarly, supporters of the ousted president of Brazil in the 2022 election assaulted government buildings, including the country's Supreme Court, Congress, and the presidential palace. In Europe, Poland, Hungary, and Romania are often referenced as examples of backsliding and political transitions. Failed political transitions have been a common phenomenon in Africa. The democratic gains won in the period after 1990 are now eroding in all parts of the continent. This is manifested through the Decline in Democracy Index value, which is based on reports by Economics Intelligence Unit from 4.38 in 2015 to 4.16 in 2020. Scholars and commentators in the field offer various reasons for the failure of political transitions in Africa. These include the fragility of instruments of governance, disregard of constitutional norms and authoritarianism, poverty, absence of economic, culture, and elite support required for democracy, and violent extremism. Others argue that the main factor is the absence of Western leverage and the resurgence of China as a critical supplier of trade, aid, and assistance in sub-Saharan Africa. Moreover, military coups have re-emerged as a major challenge to political transitions in Africa. There has been an epidemic of coup d'etats in the continent in recent years, with 10 military coups in Africa since 2020. Sudan, Burkina Faso, Guinea, and Mali are currently suspended from the AU for military coups. The case in Sudan. After the overthrow of Omar al-Bashir in April 2019, Sudan has been ruled by a transitional government that is mandated to transform the country into a democracy. However, the post-transition in Sudan is mainly characterized by sustained public protests, a worsening economic crisis, and violence including tensions between the civilian and military groups. This period also saw the country engaged in conflict with Ethiopia over the al fashaga border area and the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. On 25th of October 2021, the Sudanese military, led by General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, took control of the government through a military coup. A breakthrough was made when Sudanese political parties and the military signed a political framework agreement to establish a civilian-led authority in December 2022, although its progress and consensus building have been very slow. On 15th of April 2023, fighting broke out between Sudan's military and the paramilitary rapid support forces RSF, after months of simmering tensions between them. The clashes have turned Khartoum into an active war zone and killed hundreds of people, creating a nightmare humanitarian situation. With more than 3,500 injured so far and the deaths of at least five aid workers, the crisis now poses a major threat to peace and stability in the wider Horn of Africa region. The current military confrontation takes its root in the April 2019 transition in Sudan that failed to establish an all-inclusive and effective civilian government in the country. With both sides confident that their forces can triumph over the other side until international peace piles up, chances of a meaningful negotiations are not expected to yield results. 
the international community needs to make it clear to both generals that a military solution will not be tolerated or accepted. That's it for today's news analysis, and thank you for watching. And make sure you join us on our next episode of the